Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best flashlights. Starting at number 5. Nightcore EDC 27 Every. A new addition to the best flashlights of 2023, the Nightcore EDC 27 first launched at SHOT Show 2023. This light dazzled folks with a wonderful design and massive light output. If you can get your hands on one, it's still selling out quickly with every batch produced, this light is the latest and greatest EDC flashlight on the market. I expect it to be popular for a long time. Let's begin with the design. The Nightcore EDC 27 is a flat flashlight with a pocket clip. That means it fits easily in your pocket. It will even work in most knife pockets on pants, making it a dream to carry. To turn it on, press a large tail switch. Next to that switch is a smaller tail switch. Once on, depress that smaller switch to flip between modes. Or, you can press the smaller tail switch when the light is off to fire the strobe or momentary on modes. For the EDC user who may need to use the light for self-defense, this is a slick interface that should result in never hitting the wrong button for the needed use. Next, a quick look at the specs reveals class-leading numbers. A top output of 3000 lumens and a 200M range will serve all but the most dire search and rescue, hunting, or tactical needs. And a runtime of 37 hours on low provides a good, long life for the vast majority of uses. Coming at number 4. Coast G32. We put the Coast G32, $25, in a head-to-head -head test with the Thrunite Archer, our overall budget choice, and the competition was neck and neck. In the end, we decided to give a space on this guide to the Coast flashlight as it performed admirably, only failing in a brutal drop from 10 feet to concrete onto the lens. This is a no-frills, AA flashlight with two modes. But it gives excellent lighting. Zoomed out, it provides a very wide, perfect circle with no halos thanks to Coast's pure beam focus. Then, zoom the lens for a bright point of light with a 134 meter throw. The zoom motion is very simple and smooth. Grab the zooming head by the nice knurling and twist it. It zooms to a hard stop on wide and long throws. For the money, the G32 is a solid, well-made flashlight that impressed us in use both outdoors and around the house. It's a bit large for EDC use, but will work great around the campsite or at home. And, if you want to upgrade it, Coast offers its ZX555 Zithian X rechargeable battery, not included. At number 3. Nightcore EDC 33 4000. The Nightcore EDC 33, $70, is a new light for 2024 and it's incredibly powerful yet very small. For context, this little light will fit in the palm of your hand and weighs a scant 4.48 ounces. It clips to the inside of your pocket, where it doesn't take up very much real estate. But pull it out and push the tail switch, and wowzers. The EDC 33 packs incredible power, reaching a maximum of 4,000 lumens with a beam distance of almost 5 football fields. But even better, it has nice low and mid output modes that are very usable at normal viewing distances of close proximity out to about 50 yards. And at that distance, this little powerhouse will burn and burn and burn, kicking out a very useful 300 lumens for nearly 7 hours straight. Number 2 of my list. Thrunite Archer 2A. While the Thrunite Archer, $30, lacks a few of the higher end features of other lights on this list, it comes in at an absolutely excellent price of just $30. For that, you get a quality CREE XPL V6 LED light source with a maximum power of 500 lumens. While that number may not look impressive, it's way more than enough for most uses. Using two AA batteries, it has a runtime of up to 4 days on Firefly mode and 11 hours on medium, 75 lumens. You heard that right, this flashlight does use AA batteries. That certainly brings down the price compared with high-end rechargeables and costs money to operate. Our team prefers rechargeable flashlights for several reasons we'll get into below. But flashlights with disposable or rechargeable AA batteries are very easy to repower on backcountry trips, just bring a couple of extras. 
A budget flashlight needs to have more than just a nice price. It also needs to be durable so you won't have to run out and buy another in a few months. I put the Archer through rigorous testing, including submersion and drop testing. It came through with flying colors, barely edging out the competition with the Coast G32, below. I loved the simple interface, particularly the side button to scroll through brightness settings. And number 1. Phoenix PD36R Pro. The Phoenix PD36R Pro is the latest evolution of our favorite overall flashlight on the market. A slightly upgraded model of the also great PD36R, the PD36R Pro has one big difference that is better, and that is the dual tail switches. The system works like this, one larger tail switch turns the light on and off. The other toggles through the five brightness modes, or, if the light is off, activates the strobe function for self-defense. In the dark, with gloves, or whenever, it's incredibly easy to manipulate the switches and get the output you want in seconds. If you prefer the lighting control mounted on the body of the light, the standard PD36R is still available. But I suspect most users will love the upgraded Pro model. Beyond user experience, the runtime is phenomenal. With the new PD36R Pro in Eco 30 lumens mode, you can achieve a solid 42 hours of runtime. If runtime is your primary concern, the non-pro version of this light has a much longer runtime, but lower overall output. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.